Afternoon, everybody. Um, I thought I'd kind of explain myself a little bit real quickly about what I said a couple days ago. You know, I did a video basically entitled, Are You Serious, TNA?, where I talked about the fact that um, TNA was, well, we all knew they were holding lockdown in the Alamo. We knew that. And when we looked at the plans, and okay, first of all, we look at the, I guess you could say the stadium plans or the configuration plans for something like this. You think, hey, it's not too bad. But what got me, ladies and gentlemen, maybe I did overreact a little bit, was when the PWI uh, Twitter page they were oh, they were uploading some pictures, and one of the reporters uploaded a picture from behind the curtain, and I saw a lot of the Alamo Dome completely empty, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking to myself, you know, they had the opportunity, they had the opportunity to you to put the ring in the middle of the arena and then just taper off or darken off a lot of other sections of the arena. I mean, some good examples of this, if you will, uh, that have been shown that, oh, that this could be done properly. Uh, back in the Attitude Era, when, like in the first few years, they did a Raw or so, about, I think a, a Monday Night Raw from the Sky Dome in Toronto, and they darkened off some of the arena because they knew they weren't going to have 60,000, 70,000 fans coming to the Sky Dome for Raw. So they darkened off some of the arena. Now you might say to yourself, well that's WWE, that's their choice. Yeah, it is their choice, ladies and gentlemen. But, but, the thing is they could have done just what TNA did on Sunday and they could have just used one section, done all that. Done what they did to, to the point that it just had like 20,000, Maybe 19,000 or 20,000. They could have done that. But they didn't. Instead, they decided to basically use the entire Sky Dome, but they darkened off where they weren't being sold out. Wrestling has done this for years, for decades. Remember, when the NWA would do the Superdome back in the 80s, they would darken off any areas that weren't being used. They didn't hide the fact with curtains and all that. WCCW did the same thing when they would use Texas Stadium. They wouldn't hide the fact that they weren't going to be sold out. They even did it with the Cotton Bowl. And I know you're thinking, well, that's a different time, different era. You're right. But think about it if it was done nowadays. Get what I'm saying? If they would have done it nowadays and still followed that same format. I mean, when WCW had the, used the Astrodome, the Superdome, uh, the TWA Dome, the Alamo Dome. Every time they, any time they used those, they didn't dark, they didn't hide the fact they didn't have a sellout. No, they darkened certain areas, areas of the dome area or the stadium to show that hey, we're not sold out, but at least we have a decent enough crowd. My point is. TNA could have done the same thing. They could have put the ring like right in the middle of the arena. Like, like here's the middle. Like, I don't know if you can see where I'm standing. Um, how, how do I example this? Okay, like let's say this here represents the Alamo Dome, right? This represents it. Like right here is the middle. They could have easily used the middle and darkened off all the other areas. Areas that weren't used, because at least it would, even though it would darken off, it, with sections like they had lit lit up, the sections that they sold, the seats that they sold out, oh, were, you know, filled up. At least it would have a big time feel. Now, I now hopefully whatever arena or venue they get for Bound for Glory, let's say they get a dome arena. Like, let's say they get Tropicana Field, or Marlins Park, 
or Miller Park, or Minute Maid Park, or, or wherever. Let's say they get one of those, just, just for the sake of argument, they get one of those. Hopefully, they do exactly what I'm saying they could have done with lockdown. I'm not saying that I'm upset that they did it, it just flabbergasted me that you had this whole arena that you could have easily put the ring in the middle of, darkened off the sections you weren't using, and still showed that you had a big enough crowd. It wouldn't have hurt you. And I think they know that. And now that they've broken their U.S. attendance record, it tells me that they're going to want to do more. They're going to want to increase, they want, they're going to want to do more, they're going to want to you know, want to break that record. And like I said, with Bound for Glory, you know, if they get a venue similar to this, if not a little smaller, I think they can do it. But I think, what they, again, what they need to do is say to themselves, okay, we want to, you know, we want to make it look big and everything. And I'm not saying they didn't do that with this past Sunday show. I'm just saying they could have done better. I mean, heck, there's a video going around, I don't know, on the internet with them showing with showing them setting up for tonight's impact in the Sears Center. And I know you're saying, well the Sears Center is no Alamo Dome. That is true. But still you kind of get my point. But again, I'm not upset that they didn't do good. I'm I'm happy they did. I'm happy they did made, did a good attendance. But the truth of the matter is they could have made it look a little bit more bigger. And I think what really upset me, and maybe I did get out of line and exaggerate is the fact that a majority of the Alamo Dome was, was blocked off, was basically blackened out. And, and to me, I'm thinking, you know, you could have easily, you know, dealt with other companies done. But, I mean, heck, even Ring of Honor, let's say, okay, let's say Ring of Honor, for example, was to use... Um, I don't know, let's see, what would be the biggest arena they'd ever be able to get? American Airlines in Miami? Okay, let's say they got the American Airlines arena in Miami. They know they wouldn't sell that out, but they know, but knowing how Ring of Honor is and how they want to be, feel big time, they would put the ring in the middle of the damn arena, they would darken off the sections they wouldn't sell out, and at least they'd show, hey, we got a big enough field. I mean, NWA did that in the Pepsi Center in Atlanta, Georgia for the 50th anniversary. Point is, I think I was just flabbergasted and I just feel TNA could have done a lot more and maybe had a lot, had a bigger attendance than what they broke. So, but again, I do apologize that it did seem a little um, out, of, out of line there in that video, but I, to me it was just, I just felt they could have done more. So. Let me know what you guys think down below. Give me your responses if you like, and I'll talk to you all later.